Happy vlog day, my lovelies. We're going to start this vlog off with making cold brew coffee. You're right. Dee doesn't like cold brew coffee, but she still makes it anyway for her boys because they like it. And quite honestly, it's easy. I, um, they were asking one day, can you make cold? I'm like, oh. and I read up how easy it was. I'm like, seriously, I can, I can do that. I could put coffee in water, let it sit for 24 hours. And that's all you do. That is all you do. Now, I did wind up investing in one of these fancy dancy cold brew makers because I had points on my credit card and it was free. But you just need a container and that's all in some filters. I used coffee filters. You could use paper towels and drain it. But I'm going to show you how easy cold brew coffee can be. So here's my fancy dancy. What size is this? This turns into the pitcher that you save your cold brew in. So it's kind of nice, I will say. So in here, I have four cups of cold filtered water. You could use regular tap water, I'm sure. But they're the fancy, these cold tap water. Now what you can do is just pour your grinds into your water. Like I said, you can use a container, let it sit overnight, 24 hours, and then just drain it with a strainer lined with cheesecloth, you know, paper towel, whatever. But I got this cute little thing, it was free. So, cause it has a, little filter and then we take the filter out which i didn't realize of course that you can unscrew the bottom yeah you know i don't read the directions of anything so you stick your filter in all right we lock it into place and then we have our cup and a third of coffee grinds they say the coarse the better honestly i've used anything that i had and it all worked so you just pour it into your filter. Now you try not to get it into, not into the filter, because then I'll have to, since I have this fancy maker, I'd have to filter it. So I'm just gonna pour this in. Probably should maybe pour it into the filter out here and just stuff it in. That would have been easier, maybe. They say cold brew is less bitter <clears throat> than brewed, I guess because it's not using hot burning water. I don't know. I just know that they like it and it makes really easy iced coffee because your base is always cold. So that's why we usually have it in the spring, summer, fall, because we, and I will show you the base. The base is, once this is drained, I'll, we'll talk about it now. You take a third cup of this and then two thirds cup of any milk you like. You could use whole milk, low fat milk, almond milk, oat milk, cream, half and half, and you mix it together. I put it in the blender with some ice and make it like frothy, and that's what they have. So Steve likes his sweetened, the boys do not. So sometimes you put skinny syrups in it, it just depends on your mood. You can put a little bit of cinnamon, you know, but it's only a third of this base to two thirds milk. So it's easy to remember, one third to two thirds, and then you, you blend it. You could just mix it by hand, you could, heat it up you could probably add two-thirds of water if you wanted and heated it up whatever floats your boat but i'm gonna put the rest of these grinds in and we're gonna let this sucker we have a lid where's the lid here she is <laughs> put the lid on and we'll sit her in the fridge for 24 hours and i will keep this vlog going tomorrow and we will i will show you what it looks like maybe we'll make somebody a coffee you know what i should have done i guess morning brain I should have put the grinds in first and poured the water over it. That's what happens when you're half asleep. So yeah, that's what you do. You would fill your little filter up with the, one of the third cups of grinds and just pour the two cups of water over it. But it's still gonna work, so. And every once in a while I go in there with my long spoon and I just oscillate those grinds a little bit. It has a little oscillator, I don't really like it. Maybe if I knew how it really worked. <laughs> probably would but we're just gonna like I said this has to sit for 24 hours and we will revisit this tomorrow morning I'll finish this vlog up tomorrow since I don't put it up till tomorrow night anyway so put a little lid on see it's already brewing but as we get nice and deep and concentrated because this is a this is a cold brew concentrate I don't know if I said that before I will say it again. There's a cold brew concentrate. So you use a third of the concentrate and two thirds of your milk or beverage of choice. So 
Time to make breakfast. I know it's like a hot mess today. It's usually hair wash day, but we're going out tomorrow, so I decided to wash it tomorrow instead. It's not really doing much of anything anyway. I'll just put a little, uh, we'll just, we'll do, we'll put a little dry shampoo on it, uh, fluff her up a bit and put some, uh, skincare on it. Look a little bit decent. It's 24 hours later. I know, same shirt, but I have my sports bra on, so I'm going to go get a shower. So I just thought, you know, it's eight o'clock in the morning and I just thought I would show you that it's done. I'm telling you, you do nothing and you have this base. Like I said, you use a third cup of this base, two thirds cup of milk of choice, mix it, heat it, blend it, put ice in there, make a smoothie, whatevs, and it's fabulous. So I will remove the grinds pod. Like I said, if you don't have one of these, you can just use a container and then strain the grinds out. The coarser the grinds are really what you use for um, a cold brew method. But honestly, any will work. But it just makes it a little bit easier with the, with the coarse grinds. So yeah, I dump them. And that's that. And I, yeah, we, this stays out. So this goes, we empty this and put the lid back on. And then I have this fancy dancy little pitcher. It's my cold brew. And this will last at least, I mean, it lasts a whole week between all three of them drinking it. But that's it. Easy cold brew. You don't have to go in the Dunkin' anymore. You can use any flavored coffee you wanted. This I used Donut House because that's what we had around. Any coffee will work. But yep. I thought I was using tiramisu, but I think it was still. Honestly, I didn't even read it. I just grabbed it. <laughs> so that is it for cold brew demonstration. I've made a, a cold brew smoothie with this base. I added oats and a banana, ground it up. It was fabulous. So this is quite versatile if you're a coffee drinker. So. I hope you enjoyed this little portion for you guys. All right, here's the sizzle. We're getting breakfast ready. We're having an amped up avocado toast. So, toast, my gluten-free bread is in the oven toasting because it has to be really toasted. I have a Belinsky Italian style chicken sausage crisping up in my pan. These are one point on WW, one point on Better Balance. I got the Italian style, it has like peppers and onions. No casings, no antibiotics, they're fully cooked. They're 80 calories and you get 12 grams of protein. And I'm telling you, the ingredients are skinless chicken, water, red and green belt, dried bell peppers, sea salt, paprika, fennel seeds. I can't read the other thing, but um, peppers and uh, triple onions. I'm telling you, so if you're a person that likes ingredients, don't like anything weird, Malinsky's or sausage. One, this this flavor, the flavors are all different points. So, but this one I really like. It is one point with Weight Watchers and one point in Better Balance. So we're going to put that on our toast. Well, put our couple points of avocado on there, our fried egg, and yesterday I cooked up some mushrooms, and we're going to drizzle balsamic because it went to the egg. Yes, that's how I like my toast. So I'm just going to flip over these. Oh, they're nice and crispy. You could do a Canadian bacon. You can get burned. Or <laughs> a little crispiness to them. That's all we need. And that will be our breakfast this morning. Simple. Yet a little bit decadent, yet not chicken sausage, an egg, avocado, mushrooms. We got all the food groups in this breakfast. I didn't even plan that. Got your fats, you got your protein, protein, you got our veg, we got our somewhat of a grain. So I'll come back and I'll show you when we assemble our sandwich. Or no, our toast. Let's build our toast. I did decide in the 11th hour <laughs> to put a Laughing Cow Cheese Wedge on top for a point. Again, you can create this any way you want. You can put on what you like and what you're willing to spend points on. To me, six points for breakfast. Honestly, I do between six and seven, so that is my max for breakfast. So this fits right into my plan. So let's...
bring it out and let's build our toast. There we go. First, I think the easiest thing to do is put the cheese on because this is the only thing that I really have to spread. I mean, I have to spread the, the avo, but that's a little bit easier than trying to spread this cold block of cheese. This gluten-free stuff, I'm telling you, the bread is not as good. But you know what? I'm happy to have bread, so I'm all happy about that. Two points of avocado. Squash that bad boy on there. And you could go to one point of avocado. You say you have D2s really too much. Then by all means, do the amount you want to spend. This is your toast. All right, that's how I look at it. I do want to put a little of pickle. Oh, now we'll do citrusy garlic, I think, today. This is really good on avocado. This is not guacamole, this is avocado. So you definitely can change up the way you spice it up. We'll do the little rounds of chicken sausage. I think that will go so well with everything. You could have half a link, but what the heck, it's only a point. Go big or go home, you know? I could just eat the rest as a snack. Okay. Egg. Some pepper. And I haven't been able to get the coarse salt yet, so we're just still using the regular salt. And then the star of our show, our mushroom. Well, everything's the star of the show. Just put it on top like that. Now I'm telling you, mushrooms and avocado without an egg is fantastic itself. You could heat these up. I'm fine with them being a little bit on the cold side. I mean, this is pretty as a picture. It's mushrooms. It's fungus. It's chicken sausage. It's delicious. <laughs> but we're not done yet. I want to put basil, garlic, balsamic. Now again, this is indulgent. Probably another point for my people that are counting. I think we'll just, this is a half a teaspoon. I don't even know if that's even going to, I don't know if you have to even count. Look at that. I don't know. It's just everything. They have a, look at this. Half a teaspoon of balsamic. Not rocket science. Not a lot. You didn't need a lot. Because everything else is the star of this plate. So I'm going to give you a close up. And I need to take my what I eat today video. I don't even know what to say but I'm gonna go enjoy this. I would taste it for you, but it might be too messy. But I will taste a piece of chicken sausage with you. I'll report back and how fabulous it was, because I know that's fabulous. And water is filled. That is the key. Don't think about it, just fill it. Keep it here, I keep it on my counter. So I get up and I see it and I fill it right up because if I don't, if I wait to think about filling it up, it'll be the afternoon or later in the day. So I have my tea over there. I have my water and here I have my fantastic breakfast. So I'm going to go eat. We will check back in in a bit. Well, hello, my lovely vlog. We are going on an errand because Timmy wants taco bake for dinner. Now I've made that for you, I think I've made it for you before, I don't know, it's just made with the Jiffy Corn Muffin Mix, two boxes, taco meat, beans, and some cheese. It's not what I would call light by any stretch of the imagination, but it might be gluten free, I don't know if there's gluten in that Jiffy Mix, it probably is. I'd have to buy pure cornmeal probably, but like I tell you guys all the time, sometimes 
you're not going to get the light thing. You're not going to get something that's perfect. You just don't have as much. I'm going to put some re fat-free refried beans in there, so that'll, you know, and maybe top it with some black beans. So, so it, it'll work out. You know, I'm going to put a taco salad on the side. So I'm, you know, I might not have as big of pieces as I used to, but I'm still going to have some. And that's how it is with life. Life's not always getting the right food. You know, I, I wish it were. I wish we could just sit there and have the perfect food all the time. It doesn't work that way. You know, the, the world doesn't, you know, to me once, it's his favorite. So, yeah, you know, I'll make it. It's, it's, honestly, it's very easy. You know, the hardest thing is um, nothing is hard about it. Browning the meat. So, yeah, honestly. And once in a while, you got to have stuff. You know, am I living every day eating low? No, there's some days you just have more. You do, and it's okay. And that's why you, you know, which really works for that, like that one technique where he says you go over your points, under your points, over your points. So some days you go over, and there's nothing. We have weeklies. You know, I'm gonna work out today. I'm gonna earn some activity points. Put them towards my dinner, and that's all I can do. Now well, this, I'm right next to the Dollar Tree. Do I go in? I might just. I might just go in there first to see if they have any protein drinks because I'm looking for, I, again, I told you, I'm obsessed with the strawberry. I know. Queer that I am. But I may go check if they've been. I don't think that they haven't had any, so I don't think they're going to. So, you know, Dollar Tree's hit or miss. It has, it has, it has, it, then it doesn't, doesn't, doesn't. So, I'll, it's right next door. So, I'll go in there first, check it out, see if they have any kind of new fun finds that I need. I'm not buying anything I don't need. I've been really good about that. Now I'm buying it. Oh, because of the dollars, let's grab five of them. No. I was good the last, well, the last few times I, I filmed, I don't know, it, was a, it was a reel. I was just, I did that. I thought, I'm just going to show all the fun Freeman products that they have instead of buying them all. Like, you know, so. so I'm not going to film today because I don't really want to take the time because I'm going to get home. I, I'm hosting Glam Squad today, and I will insert a clip of that on this um, video, in case you ever want to join. I, I've i been doing Glam Squad since COVID, since 2020, April of 2020 is when Glam Squad was born, for lack of being around people and needing some kind of, you know, social thing, uh, Glam Squad was born, and it's been wonderful, and you really, you know, I know... I don't know why people are pulled, and I know it's the time, I know it's the time, I, the time is inconvenient for a lot of people, and I get that, but um, if you are available at 2.30 Eastern Time, I highly recommend that you join us for a little walk, we walk for 20 minutes, and we chat for 10, so it's kind of fun, 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 so don't be too long here on the camera, this camera's getting hot, because it's going to be hot, it's really, what's the temperature today, 91 right now, and it is 11.30, There's the old shopper I used to go to. Blah, blah. But I just need to pick up a couple of things. Like the corn muffin mix. That's kind of huge. You can't make taco bag without the taco. But yeah, I need to get that. I know they have it here. That's save a lot, which is nice in the Dollar Tree. So I'm going to grab two boxes of that. And I made, they usually have, they have really good... Um, Mexican section, so I might grab maybe some more refried beans. Well, I do have a few down the base when I need them. But I need to just get what I need to get and get out of there. I'm not shopping. Repeat after me, Denise, you're not shopping. Denise, you're not shopping. That's how all that goes. I'll report back. I will. I mean, I was going to go shop, I just should have went to Aldi. I just honestly didn't feel like going down to Woodbury. Because they're doing um, construction on the highway that's right out the way. The way I used to go to work, that road, um, is constructed and they're painting it. So I just thought it been a hot mess. So I'm just avoiding that and going a totally different direction. Should I stop and get a tea on the way home? Oh, that's a thought. I haven't had a tea from Duncan. I've been really doing well drinking less tea. I have been. I have my morning tea. And sometimes I save it for the afternoon when I don't. It's the same uh, two cups. I make a two cup pot and it lasts me. Sometimes I drink it in the morning, sometimes I drink it morning. It depends on what time it has me finish it. I need to go in here. So, 
but I've been really proud of myself that I am not drinking that much tea. I'm trying to cut back. Since the black tea causes the inflammation, I'm drinking dirty. So I'm going to park right here because there's the Dollar Tree and there's the save a lot. So go in DT first and see if they have any cool um, protein stuff and then we will not buy anything else. Unless it's something that I've never seen before. I actually am looking for a planner. So this says back to school. So let's see if they have a cute one. So I'll be back. I'll report back. All right, I came out from the Dollar Tree. Be proud. I only got a student planner. I like the students because it gives you the individual days. So I like that. And I got a new blotter for next year because they have them out. And I'll just get it and put, keep it down the basement. And you be proud. I went into the food store and only got the Jiffy corn mix. Is there gluten in this? I meant to look. Wheat flour, so yes, it is not gluten free. So I guess I won't be having it. I'll be, I got some ground meat just because it's easier to cook it fresh. Did chicken on sale, so I got some chicken breasts and a can of refried beans. I'm proud of myself. Under $20 for both stores. Yes. Yeah, a nice big pack of chicken breasts, so I'm gonna cook those up. I haven't had chicken. I used to keep chicken cooked all the time in the fridge and I don't anymore. So we need to do that. I don't think I want to put it in the Instant Pot. Back in the day, I used to put it in the Instant Pot. Yeah, I'm over that. I'm over the rubberiness of it. So I'm just going to roast it in the oven or maybe get Steve to grill it. Vote for Steve to grill. <laughs> but I'm going to go in, put this stuff away. Uh, it is 12, 16. Timmy and I are supposed to go to the shoe store but I should eat lunch before we go because I'll get back too late. So I'm going to go in and have something. I don't know what I'm gonna eat yet. What do I have? What do I feel like? I have salad, tuna. I know, <laughs> it hit me. I have leftover taco chicken from a Sunday that I loved. I need to make that every freaking week, it was so good. That's what we're gonna have. I had it yesterday and I put like lettuce on it. I will show you. We'll make it together. So oh, now I'm excited. Now, now all of a sudden I thought of it like, I feel like oh, I want it so badly. So I'm gonna go and have that. I'll see you in a few. Let's get our lunch together. So I have a bowl of romaine lettuce. All right, to that I'm going to add a little chopped onion. Cause again, these are, Vidalia onions and you know your girl May is obsessed with onions and she loves her Vidalia so she this one use this dress I think I don't and I love a little extra onion there is onion in the little mixture but you know this looks like it should come off Hot Mess Express. Okay, now this is some of the ch chicken and like called chili that I made the other day. There's corn, there's zucchini, there's peppers, onions, and there's 98% lean grilled chicken in there and mushrooms. I added those later because I just did this. I'm just gonna throw that on top. Now, if you don't want it to be too juicy, you could just spoon it and not, the juices won't be in there. But honestly, I'm all for this. Do a better way. There we go. This looks somewhat professional. It's gonna be a taco salad with chili on top. A chili salad. I mean, isn't that everything? And I do have some fat-free feta to use up. So, I mean, honestly, I would like Mexican, but you know, this has to get used up. I think it'll be tasty. Just put that on top. Zero points for the amount that's left in here. And there we have your technically zero point taco salad. Seriously, I didn't realize that. So I am gonna put some, maybe if I want some dressing, some of this Bolt House creamy blue cheese, chunky blue cheese. I hear it's two tablespoons. I think it's a point, I'm not sure. We will, I will revisit that 
when I put it on my what I eat in a day, you'll know what the but it, it's gonna it's it nothing, it's at least two points. So plus you should taste it, right? Because I haven't tasted this one yet. Dog in. We just have to wait till I taste this. You should have went outside. There, I'll lick it off the, the waste, not whatnot. Good stuff. Check out Bull House Farms at your local supermarket. They are, and I've liked everyone I've gotten. They've been great in points and great in taste. So, good job, Bull House. Who knew? I mean, you can make your own, yes, but sometimes it always pays to have one ready to go. I'm gonna go eat my lunch. Going sneakers shopping in this quaint little shop in Mullica Hill. Here's a fun little montage of shoe shopping with Timmy. Time for Glan Squad, our daily walking workout. You're always invited to come and join us. There's Leslie in the middle, and there we are on the side sharing the screen. You're all welcome to join. All right, a little bit of Bailey because, you know, I always forget to film them. We're out just doing a little bit of a little run in the yard. Next to come out in the afternoon. This is where the bunnies hide under this bush. I told Steve we need to get rid of this bush. So we did get, we had two here. We did get rid of one, but they hide under this shed. And this bush. Am I too close? Yeah, there we go. But yes, he's looking. He's looking. Oh, there, <laughs> there went one. <laughs> Did you see that? Oh, I hope I didn't go too fast. But yes, there went a little friend right over there. He knows. He knows. He remembers that this is where they hide. Bow, bow. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. There we go. We don't need to see you going doing your business, do we? <laughs> we put up this privacy fence and, oh, it's been such a great thing. Not that I'm not friendly, but you know, nothing like having some privacy. Okay. Hey, Bailey. Want to say hi to the vlog? Want to say hi to everybody? Huh? He smells something over here. He keeps sniffing. I thought maybe there's some kind of dead animal, but you see this? We call this walking the tightrope. It's a railroad tie that we put up here. And when he injured his back, when he started doing this again, he couldn't walk on this. He couldn't. He couldn't. He just couldn't. He was his back was unstable. But that's how we. I know. I, once he got better, we call it walking the tightrope. Oh, look who's there! Yeah, 
He knew. When he's tethered, he kind of knows. He knows looking for, well, where there's a bunny, there's a bunny load. Ah, get out of there. Eat that stuff. Does your dog eat bunny poop, too? Because it drives me insane when he does that. But we thought we'd come out. Once in a while, he just comes out, and this is where Wally lives. There's Wally up there, if you can see him. Bailey doesn't like Wally. Bailey has no taste in friends. He's just mean. Wally's a sweetheart. But Bailey's, Bailey's the not nice one. So I should say, let's see if I could show you Wally. I could get up here a little bit. He's sitting on the top step. There he is. There's Wally. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't come down to see Bailey because Bailey's not nice. But yeah, bunnies hide under here. In fact, you could see a rabbit hole right over here. Yep. So we have way too many things that bunnies can hide under. And there's usually babies under the screen house. This is where we keep all our pool supplies. We actually could have, uh, we've had parties out here and kept food out in the screen house. Oh, oh Wally's well, just gonna come down and say him. Maybe he knows Wally well, must know I have a camera in my hand. Hi. See, you're not nice. Oh, stop. This is what happens. This is why Bailey has no friends because all he does is bark. And that's the other rabbit hole right under here. And there's a rabbit hole on the side. I'll show you if you can see it right there. Oops, that's where the, and actually the groundhogs usually live under here. Hi, Wally. That's why Bailey has no friends. So we'll see you later, Bailey. Bye-bye. All right, you saw a little adventure. Um, I did stop and look what's out. Joan mentioned to me that donut pizzas were out, so I ran. To grab me some, I wanted to try, got a watermelon. Ugh. I don't know, I've actually been enjoying watermelon. I don't know, it's weird. I don't really like watermelon. And I got some of the Hangry Vegetable. That was the name of the stand, the Hangry Vegetable. They're honey. So I've never tried their local honey. And they're not too far from us, so still considered local. So let's try, let's have a peach and some honey. This is a little bit. Steve loves honey, the boys love honey. I use honey substitute, but you know. It's good. It's honey. It's like clover honey. So these are the donut peaches. They're like flat. This take a fun one that's ready to be eaten. These are pretty firm. That one's not bad. All different sizes. You got small ones, you got big ones. I'm trying to find one that's softest because they're just came out so they're still really firm but i love donut peaches all right we're gonna grab this one i got two bushels which two containers so we're gonna have this one so what i like to do is i just like to pop them in half see if i can do it because they're pretty hard Ooh. now let's get a knife so we can just cut it, pull it and then Oh, those are really soft. This way. Ooh, I can't get it. There we go. See the pit? This is perfect. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. We have to go into Bailey. Make sure you're subscribed for all my cuteness. It's <laughs> a good point. What he wants to be. So yeah, so I just like to slice them down. I eat the skin. I just washed them all. You like that? They're my favorite. We'll put these in the fridge. Steve would say leave them out, but then they get too soft. So we're going to go and get some dinner started. Having a peach for snack. Let's get dinner together. Now, by all means, this is not WW friendly. You could tweak it like when you make this. You could probably use this cornmeal, but I'm using this muffin mix and I just follow the directions. The milk and the egg. You could use almond milk if you wanted. I do add a little bit of yogurt or cottage cheese to get a little bit of richness. 
but I have my pan that sprayed my old pan we're going to show you. I also have a pound of ground meat mixed with a can of refried beans. You can use turkey. You can use whatever you want. And I mix it with a little bit of taco seasoning. So let me just show you how I put it together. Good point of reference. So I'm going to put half of our two boxes of Jiffy, give or take. Let's see. Want that a little bit more? I don't think this is quite half. Hard to judge. Let's make it enough. Spread it as the base. Like I said, you could tweak this. Whoops, sorry about that. To get this to be lower in points. They said, I, I'm probably not going to eat this because it has gluten in it. So I don't really care what's in it. I'm going to be honest. Let me put our meat and bean mixture. Pop it right in. Doesn't have to be neat. You can use turkey, chicken. It'll all work. But I'm telling you, it tastes so nice with the addition of the beans mixed in it. And just kind of let that all spread out. This is a great, this would be great for like a party. But it makes a lot. Unless you have Timmy coming for dinner. Then it's not enough. <laughs> well, the reason why I don't want any, he'll eat all of it. This, this is one of his favorites. He asks for this all the time. And I got this from Rachel Ray. That's just a little bit different than what she used to do. And that was, I think, 90-10 beef or, I think it was 85. I don't buy, I don't really think I don't buy 90-10. And I drained it. And I added the beans. So then we're just going to pull up this on top. Now, again, you're not going to cover it perfect. It honestly doesn't really matter. Sorry about the bad angle. Kids love this. So if you have picky eaters who love tacos, I bet they would eat this. Now I've also put canned corn, cream corn in this mixture, because why not? We're gonna top it with some cheese right before we're, we're done baking it, because I don't, you know, honestly you don't really need to, but why not, you know? Yeah, no, there's a little bit left in there. So I have it at 375. It will bake probably 25 minutes. It always changes, but I'll let you see it when it's done. But there we go. There is your, it's heavy too. It's a one, one dish meal. And I guess I'll put some cheese on top. You could serve, serve it over shredded lettuce. That's my favorite way because this, acts like the taco shell. You can put some tomatoes on top, be fantastic as well. Like I said, this is your taco. Taco shell, beans, and meat are already here. You can put the rest of the accompaniment amounts on top. You could, sometimes we serve taco sauce on top of it. I'm telling you, it's, it's just a great little thing and you, it's very easy. Simple, easy, and feeds an army or feeds a Timmy. So I'll put this in the oven, we'll be back and I'll show you the finished product. There, I added the cheese, it melted. You can put as much or as little cheese as you want, but there it is. Easy and packs a punch. Great for, like I said, great for a party. The kids love it. Even the big kids. Made myself a quick little lotus noodle. It is six points for my noodles, two points for my chicken. And I threw some vegetables in there and some soy sauce and some ginger and had a little Asian bowl. It was really, really good. I really liked it. I doubled up on the noodles because I could. I had the points for it. And now it's absolutely one of my favorite dinners. Time for a little ice cream. We have never tried to make a caramel ice cream. So I thought, what the heck? Let's try a little caramel. So I have caramel 
premiere. A little Trivia Stevia brown sugar. I have vanilla pudding because I need to use it up anyway. I probably would put cheesecake or butterscotch, but I'm going to use what I have up. So what we do is we put a cup of, if you can see it, we would be, there it is. Which is almost as, there we go. I like my ice cream sweets, so I'm going to put a tablespoon in. Again, you could omit that. You want to put caramel extract? You can. I think it's fine the way it is. I'm just going to use up this little bit of vanilla that I have left. Yeah, let's just use it up. Do a little handheld whisk and whisk her together. I've been incorporated. I'm make sure the pudding is dissolved and the sugar is dissolved. Okay. Let me grab my, I'm going to use this, my mug out of the freezer. Got our dash, my mug out of the freezer. We attach our Okay. I'm going to help to plug it in. What did Denise? Wood, plug it in, turn it on, and pour it right through the feed. And we'll let it go for about 20, about 25 minutes probably. And then we're going to put in some, I have some apple crisp granola I'm going to add in there. I thought that would be really good. So we're going to let this bad boy go for about 20, about probably 25 minutes. We'll come back and we'll add our granola and we will taste some ice cream. It's been 25 minutes. I'm going to add a tablespoon of, hold on to your hats, Honeycrisp Apple Pie Granola from State Fair. You can get this at um, Target. So we're going to put that in, we're going to put, turn it back on, we're going to put it in, and then we're going to taste it. Oh, I don't know why I shut it off that time, but I did. Did I find? See how it starts to freeze when you stop it? Okay, so you can add as much granola as you want. I don't feel like you have to be stingy. I do it in there so it mixes. Okay. And once you take this off, you can't get it back on. Because it starts to freeze on the side. Alrighty. Okay. All right, let's taste it. Oh, I'm excited. Now, this is not as thick as the others I made because I think if I turn, it's going to fall off. So it's not as thick as some of them. I'm not sure why, but it's still like a soft serve. Now, maybe if I let it go longer, it might, but it's a very soft serve. Look at all makes up. Little crunchies in there. If it's a hot summer night, I'm all for this. It's a great little machine. I'm not quite sure this one didn't freeze like the others. I do the same thing, so. But I'm going to enjoy it. Three points. One for the granola, I might be able to add another little bit more. And two for the, maybe it's one for the pudding mix and two for the premiere. So it might be four points. Whatever, it's still good and it's worth it. So I'm going to enjoy this. Well, that is it for a day in my life. It was a little bit of a long video. We had, did a lot in this video, so I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big old thumbs up. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button, join us here at Dish with D. We upload three days a week. 
we do lifestyle vlogs like this. We do Weight Watchers meeting topic on Saturday and my weekly weigh-in. We do what I eat a day on weight loss journey doing Weight Watchers. Hashtag healthy, better balance. So if that is something you're interested in, need some support and friendship, subscribe to my channel, join our crew. We'd love to have you and thanks for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment below what you thought. We want shoe shopping. We do a lot of stuff. So let me know what you thought. Let me know what you have. And I dig at the donut peaches. Life is good. So I will see you Saturday for weigh-in. Have a great rest of your day, week, month, or whenever you get to watch this. I will dish with you another day.